Hey guys, I want to draw your attention to a very familiar portion of scripture. In fact, if this is one of those stories that is in all four of the Gospels. Not many are. And I'm talking to you about the feeding of the 5,000. Now, it may come immediately to your mind of Jesus is there and he feeds the crowd with just five loaves and three fish. Now, their story is centered around that food and the, the feeding and is a miracle in and of itself. But I want to draw your attention to maybe a little nuance in this story. And, and again, we can cover this a thousand different ways. But the one that I want to talk to you about is I want to talk to you about the disciples in that time, in that moment, and what they did and what they didn't do. It's going to be a really quick one. But the story tells us that late in the afternoon, the disciples come to Jesus. It's a remote place. It's getting late. And the disciples say to Jesus, send the crowds away so they can go to nearby farms and villages and buy something to eat. And Jesus says, you feed them. And they said, with what? Now, I want to put, have you put yourself in that place of being there on the hillside. And I want to suggest to you that the disciples didn't just notice it when the hour was getting late. I imagine that through the day, they're wondering what is going to happen. What are we going to do about these people? What are they going to do? What are, what are we going to do about all these people that are going to be hungry? So they had this problem throughout all the day, and they knew that it was impossible in their eyes for them to be able to feed the people. At the end of the story, we find out that they all ate as much as they wanted. Now, I want to rewind a little bit and go back to that moment when the disciples had the problem and they didn't know what to do. The problem existed all day and they, and they couldn't solve it. They had an inability to. But I want to tell you that the answer was, and this is going to relate to many of the problems we have in our lives, they looked to Jesus, they listened for instruction, and they allowed him to work. I want to say that again. They looked to Jesus, they listened for instruction, and they allowed him to work. When they finally got to the place where they had this problem, they brought it to Jesus, they looked to him, listened to what he told them to do, and then allowed him to work, and everybody was able to have the food that they needed. So if there's an area of your life that you're struggling with and it looks impossible to you, in fact, you've been thinking about it all day long, I want to suggest to you that maybe it's time to stop looking at the circumstances. Maybe it's time to stop looking at yourself, but say, I'm going to look to Jesus. I'm going to listen for his instruction and I'm going to allow him to work. God bless you guys.